I know a lot of you feel a certain kind of way about this one. Overnight, we are going to lose an hour of sleep. And every year, daylight saving time comes around. We get a lot of questions from you about why we're even still observing it. So here's our Pat Doris to explain. We're all familiar with our twice annual cue to spring forward or fall backward. But didn't Oregon and Washington get rid of this? Yes, we'll get to that. So why are we still changing the clocks and how do we get here? Well, back in 1966, Congress passed the Uniform Time Act, establishing daylight saving time nationwide. By the way, it is saving, not savings. Oregon was already on board back then, having done the same four years before that. The idea to turn the clocks forward one hour on the last Sunday in April and then turn them back on the last Sunday in October. Basically, it lets humans make better use of daylight as the sun rises and sets later and later throughout the summer. The official time change happens at 2 a.m. when most of us, hopefully, are asleep. In 2005, Congress extended the daylight saving time window, scheduling us to spring forward in March and fall back in November. Well, a lot of people find these frequent time shifts kind of annoying. Some states like Arizona don't observe daylight saving time at all. In 2019, Oregon and Washington decided to take a page out of their book. But lawmakers instead passed a bill to keep both states on daylight saving time all year round. In other words, the schedule we use during the summer would become our schedule all year. But, and this is key, none of us can actually make that switch yet. Because for that to happen, we need approval from Congress and the President. In short, we're stuck in legislative limbo waiting on D.C. However, Washington State Senator Patty Murray is now sponsoring a bill called the Sunshine Protection Act to make daylight saving time permanent all across the country. So we'll see where that goes. And that's how we got here.